Hello guys and welcome in my fourth Unity 3D tutorial, 3D FPS tutorial in YouTube. And uh, in this tutorial we're only going to be doing the gun animations. We're going to be animating the gun, and yeah, we won't be doing the I'm down the sides script today because um, I have a few problems with that script. And yeah, uh, and also in the next tutorial we'll be doing the muzzle flash. So uh, yeah, um, tell me guys uh, if you like the free assets video. If you want any more of free assets, just uh, let me know that uh, down in the comment section. Just write it. And yeah, let's start. Go to your right. Uh, search for your ammo script. We made in, we applied to our gun in the first Unity 3D tutorial. First video, and uh, yeah. I go down to this uh, variable section and uh, write a new variable. I call it gun shoot, not just gun, yeah. And uh, Write the uh, game object, so that will be the object will be interacting with. Um, go down to the function fire and uh, write a new sentence. Gun dot animation dot and it will play the different animation on our gun object which will be our G3 model and uh, it will play the animation every single time the projector will be fired not every single time we press our left mouse button so uh, we won't be able to play the animation if our if the bullets will be equal to zero and that's pretty cool yeah so now go back up and write a new variable variable ammo clip and yeah go down to the function reload write uh, another sentence ammo clip dot animation dot play with capital and uh, yeah that's it mm, that's it for and yeah in the function reload uh, with that sentence we'll be able to play the animation every single time the bullet will bullets will reach zero and when you press R it we won't be uh, able to play the animation every single time we hit R just only single every single time the bullets are equal to zero equal or less to zero it's, it's almost the same now save and close the script and uh, yeah go to your game object now go to to G3 or model of or any other gun you have uh, create a new animation, go to animation, right, a component animation and uh, tick off the play automatically because so, we don't want it to play on awake and size set it to 1 and we click on the non animation to element 0 and uh, go to window, go to animation and add a curve I'm going to be naming that shoot and save that transform position and uh, yeah I'll be just transforming the position because it's the easiest thing um, to do just I'll be just putting a bit back and then again so it will be equal on the both sides as much as it can be. Um, back. I 
I won't be messing with the x and y axis in here because I don't have time for that. You can do that if you want to be more precise. And yeah, go from that. So we can see now animation playing. If we hit play, it's, it will look like that. And go from that and go sh put the shoot. Shoot again. And um, yeah, now go. We'll be interacting with the ammo clip here. Just add a component, same animation. Set the size to one. Tick the tick off the play automatically. Go to non -am animation clip and set it. Open the animation and add a curve ammo clip. I'll be naming that and uh, transform the position. Um, yeah, I'll put down and then again back up. Yeah, so it will look like this. And now set it to our um, clip. Clip. And uh, now just go to game object and drag your uh, objects that you have applied animations on. Drag your clip to ammo clip and drag the gun to gun. Um, then I'll just be quickly fixing this sh shit and go to window animation and just uh, put it back up like this and uh, uh, just uh, I'll be changing the rate to 0 0.2 yes and the load amount to 30 and uh, total bullet 60 reload time to 0 put to 0 so we will be rolling 0 seconds, we won't lose all. like 3 seconds and uh, when we shoot you can see the animation is playing and uh, yes uh, we can shoot barrels here uh, <laughs> we shoot everything we want so when our bullet is equal to 0 we can't shoot anymore animation is not playing and if you hit the R button it will reload as you can see very fast <laughs> and we can again shoot but we can't reload just if the bullets are equal to zero and when they're back to zero we can again reload and we can shoot and yeah and when our bullets are down to zero when zero there are no bullets we can reload with we can't reload anymore we can't shoot we can't do anything we can't do shit so now go back to ammo clip and I will just quickly doing a thing here. So um, if you want your gun to be automatic gun to be a, a submachine gun or anything like this, uh, go to your ammo ammo script and just erase the down uh, within this get button down sentence just this if input get button not get button down so this will uh, just be when we press our left mouse button it will uh, automatically shoot uh, bullets every 0 0.2 seconds that's our uh, rate fire rate so we can see it's automatic and uh, when it's to zero it doesn't play anymore and we can reload yeah the same shit as when it is semi-auto and uh, that's it guys for today's today tutorial yeah I hope you enjoy enjoy please uh, like and subscribe and tell me if you want anything yeah bye